going to start out with some video of what it's like to walk uh, the dogs with just a regular collar. Even though she's a puppy, you can see how much she is uh, pulling with her collar. Hi. Hi, y'all. This is my two-year-old golden doodle who is trained on the gentle reader. A Red's just spotted uh, one of his friends, another dog in the neighborhood. You see the dog running. Yeah. Red, come. And that's it. Come. If he had not been on the gentle weeder there, he would have been pulling to go by the other dog. Yo. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the gentle weeder to the regular weed and see what it's like. Okay, now Rhett is, like I said, two years old and he is trained on the gentle weeder. And usually he'll be pretty good on a regular leash, but if there's a distraction like this coming up, you'll see the difference. Okay, I'm gonna put the gentle weeder on Scarlet for the first time. Put the opening over her snout, and then it'll clip back behind the ears. It should be pretty tight. You should be able to fit one finger in there between the back. It should be high up on the neck, as high as you can get it, almost to the ear line. And then you want the it to make a a V shaped on the side of their their head. When I pick up her ear, you'll see the what I'm talking about. And then you flip on your leash to to the end of the collar. And you're good to go. Gentle weeder training day one. The instructions that come with the gentle weeder tell you to put the collar on the dog and then feed them and do this for three days before you even walk them with it. This helps them get used to the collar and it should hopefully eliminate some of the stuff that you see going on right now where she's rubbing her face and trying to get used to wearing the collar. But for this video I, I wanted to show what it was like for a dog that had never been on a gentle weeder. Come.
Come. I don't think I would have been able to do this with a regular collar and lead. Day two of training with the general leader. The difference is, is amazing after just just one session with the general leader and now I'm able to walk her so much better without her pulling. Unfortunately, I only have one general leader for now. So Rhett gets Rhett is on the regular leash, but he's a little bit better trained. But if, if he does see a person or a dog on his regular leash, he is going to pull. All right, I'm going to show you how much easier it is uh, to direct a dog on the gentle weeder. See, there's another dog right here. And she's going to want to go by him. But now, just a slight tap. And she'll come right back to me. Do it again. Yep. Yep. That's pretty amazing. With uh, a regular leash, you pull up to control your dog. With the gentle weeder, what you try to do is pull it down don't pull it head up really you try to try to pull it down and just what it does is direct their snout to the direction that they're supposed to be going okay rats decided to go for get a drink and go for a swim in the puddle rain puddle Pretty incredible thing to be able to walk two dogs while using a camera. Now if I had them both on gentle weeders, it would be no problem at all. It's just so simple. All right, day three with gentle weeder training. We're gonna see if she lost anything in the training because it's it's been about a week since I've used the general weeder on her. All right, because I've been using it on Rhett because we've I've had to go to work and it's been just quick walks.
Look at how the, uh, the leash is with the gentle leader on. And you can see I have red on the regular. Now if I'm walking one dog with a gentle weeder, what I like to do is, is I hold the end of the leash in one hand, then I hold the other, the other part of the leash and give them to guide them with. All right, she's resisting a little. Hill, little tug. Why is Red on the gentle weeder right now? Because he saw a dog and he pulled right out of his regular leash and went running away. And it's taken about a half hour to catch him. Alright, I switched Red to the gentle weeder because he pulled out of his collar and took off. And now look at the difference now that I got her on the regular leash. Heel. If you want to stop your dogs from pulling, you definitely need to get the gentle weeder. Okay, day four, gentle weeder training. Scarlet's leash came in the mail. So now they're both on the gentle weeder. Take her a little while to get used to it. I still find her all over the place. She's just running side to side. And like rat, walking calmly. Okay, now this is what we're talking about here. Nice, calm, controlled dog. Makes for a much more enjoyable walk for everyone, the dog and the person who's walking them. You don't have to fight with them. Okay, here I am with two very calm dogs. One of the great things about a gentle weeder is it works like a horse bridle where it uh, directs the snout in the direction that the dog should go and when it comes to a dog um, the direction the, the nose goes that's the direction the dog is going unlike a regular collar where when you pull on it it chokes the dog The General Weeder has been one of the best things that I have bought from Ux. It makes walking your dog easy and enjoyable. It reasonably priced at around $15 and at that price if you do get one make sure you get a genuine General Weeder because there are a lot of knockoffs out there that the quality and design don't measure up.